Hello guys, um, more stuff about hot dog, okay? So I just realized that, you know, on a hot dog you have ketchup, at least I do, okay? Yeah. So it's interesting that the, the coincidence that the word ketchup comes from Malaysia, you know? And um, so... So yeah, this is ruthless because this is where Norway, Norway's king is. He is at Malaysia. The origin of the word ketchup is Malaysia, you see. And um, so yeah, I needed to say that. Um, so there's been some stuff going on uh, first. Uh, let's let me show you some stuff okay some of you have seen my posts so there have been big news when it comes to hot dog uh, hot dogs because uh, there is this cultural thing in Philadelphia where they have hot dog night okay so they've been having it for 27 years and it just ended and the fans are really angry about that let's look at that okay Replacing the promotion with buy one, get one hot dog nights. See off the lures, talk to fans who really seem to uh, relish this tradition, one that has spanned nearly three decades. The Phillies say they are scrapping the promo because of unruly fans who threw the cheap dogs onto the field and at each other, as well as the long lines at concession stands which clogged the concourses. And it was not a good experience for our fans who came to the games last year. That's the bottom line. And our goal is to change that and to make it a good experience for all, all, all of our fans. Most fans we spoke to were not happy with the news. When I heard it on the news this morning, I was like shocked. I was like, all, they were talking about how much extra money they've been making from all the playoffs they've been in the last few years. And now they're going to take away the dollar dog night. I thought that was terrible. I think it's going to be tough for a lot of fans, but you know, in, inflation's inflation, I guess. Well, I'm a little upset about that because um, uh, this is expensive going there, parking, and all that other good stuff. So a dollar hot dog is really <laughs> good. So, I so bear in mind that the. The hot dogs thing started with uh, me talking about it the 27th of, um, of February. Okay, how many days ago is that? Um, so then two days later we had world, or not world news, but news in US about this hot dog thing ending and another, uh, some other news, right? Um, so, uh, pork flu heads rolled, you see? Well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not down with that. But we also spoke to fans who agree with the Phillies' decision and reasoning. Unfortunately, sometimes you have people that couldn't handle it maturely. Oh, the game is playing bad. Let's, let's get these dollar hot dogs and throw them at each other. Or throw them on the field. It's not a good look, especially the Phillies are a great team. They got a lot of national coverage, and to have that look, people focus on what the fans are doing instead of what the team's doing, and that's what we should do. We have a great team. In its place, the Phillies will hold two buy one get one free hot dog nights in April. So instead of two dogs for two dollars, it'll now be two dogs for five dollars. Winning cures everything. So if, as long as the Phillies are doing good, the fans are not going to stay away, whether they have dollar dog night or not. What's the most important thing is winning baseball. So if the team's playing well, people are going to pack that stadium. See off Lewis, CBS News. So first of all, this is absurd, right? Having news about hot dogs. But here's the thing. They, they've been doing this for 27 uh, seasons, I believe. Is that year? I think it's 27 years. Uh, so yeah. Pretty big news about hot dogs. Um, very, very fittingly appearing after I talk about it. Um, so, yeah. 
and this news is also in um, New York Post you have uh, Phillies and one hot dog night I mean it seems to be a big thing in US okay New York Post so this is this is this is not even local news this is news in MLB uh, not even local news okay so here's uh, people throwing uh, so the argument is that they are throwing the hot dogs on each other but you know all of this is a way to create tension like people you know the irrational need to like the hot dog which becomes a force in itself people like the reality the reality um, makes people like hot dogs or like be angry about hot, missing out on, on hot dogs or something like that you know uh, so it creates this um, momentum that helps uh, what I talk about right I talk about the hot dog I started doing that just a few days ago and now there is kind of big news about it and we also have uh, Fox News Fox News talking about this um, and um, there is this funny guy where is he wait I have to find it uh, where is the funny guy was it here yeah here's the guy he's, he's really angry about it listen to this all right breaking news Phillies are replacing dollar dog night after 27 years with a BOGO deal, a buy one, get one free deal. Nobody wants a BOGO hot dog night. We want a dollar dog night. And this is what they're doing. They're probably trying to pay for the Bryce Harper contract extension. They're probably trying to pay for the Zach Wheeler contract extension. They're trying to pay for Trey, maybe JT. They're trying to pay for all this, all these fucking contracts that they gave. You know, winning on the field is, is great. All right. It's awesome. You know, who cares about the hot dog night if they're hoisting a championship in November? Here's the thing though. Nobody wants a BOGO hot dog promotion. And they're just hiding behind this guise of, look, last year was the tipping point. People were throwing hot dogs, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, he continues like this for three minutes and, and he's really angry about, about the hot dogs and, and so on. Um, yeah, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I mean, you can see what's going on, right? It's, um, it's a bit absurd, but it's it's uh, it's good, right? Hot dogs, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. So yeah, he just continues to talk about this hot dogs, right? Stop taking cash. Now you're doing transactions. We're swiping transactions. It's taking two minutes to get every transaction through. Whose fault is this? It's your fault. This is all your fault. Aramark, Phillies. Get your shit together. Make more. Okay, okay. Um, so, um, yeah, hot dog. And here's the hot dog gun. You know, they are shooting hot dogs. Um, so, yeah. 27 seasons and they then they end. And there are angry feelings about this. And news in many newspapers. One of them is not even local news see uh, so yeah then we have this guy six million followers and the 29th of 29th of um, of February two days after I started talking about it he makes this video like it's absurd Six million followers. At Tattooed Pokemon, right? Mayonnaise isn't available. What condiments are you putting on this glizzy? 
That's easy, ketchup and mustard. What's wrong with that? Ketchup and mustard. Very, very simple to me. It's ketchup and mustard. Why wouldn't I put ketchup and mustard on this? I'm trying to figure out why the hell would mayo be on this. Now, that's just nasty. I think the only thing nastier than that is somebody I saw literally eating. Okay, uh, so I think that's all I wanted to show. Um, some stuff are happening and um, yeah. And also this, right? Ketchup from Malaysia and the word ketchup comes from Malaysia. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> yeah. So a lot of yeah, and and you know the the hot dog is is really becoming some kind of some kind of dance macabre, you know, the hot dog dance macabre, and um, yeah, <laughs> getting a bit. Um, a bit scary almost you know because what am i presenting i'm presenting things that are true and the, the true things in themselves are a bit um you know it's and and, and as i mentioned i also mentioned this this um thomas guy right And Thomas is the name of the first champion of of uh, competitive hot dog eating. You know everything about about um, everything is about hot dogs and, and ketchup and uh, and you know these things. Oh yeah, okay. Um, you know. And yeah, I, also there was some news about, you know what, it's getting too much, even for me. Um, wait a moment, I'll just show you what I mean, okay. Um, it's a bit too much for me, okay. But it is what it is. Um, there's a video, I'm going to leave a link to it. No. Mm, let's l just l look at this, okay? Um, this is about uh, King Charles and sausage fingers, you know. It's just it's just becoming too much almost uh, as it is right now. So this is from from um, May to 2023, but still, I mean, I, it's it's too much, too much, too much. I just wanted to to like I want to keep it real at the same time. I want to keep it. I I don't want to keep anything away from from you about these things, you know. And so um, and there are even videos where Charles jokes about someone else's sausage fingers. Okay, <laughs> I have to just show it. Okay, wait a moment. Wait. Here, yeah, King Charles jokes with Prince Williams about sausage fing fingers in coronation, okay. Um, I mean, it never ends, okay. There's something about a joke here about sausage fingers, you know. Um, what's going on? Okay, it's it works. Good morning. Good morning, Your Highness. Very nice to see you. Very nice to see you. Oh, Your Royal Highness, how Good lovely morning. to see you. Very nice to see you too. You're on. Yeah, okay, uh, I'll leave a link to this one. You have to see it on your own. I think it's a bit too much for me right now. Uh, but uh, as I'm saying, I'm keeping it real, okay? 
keeping it real. Um, it's it, it's a bit over the top right now with the sausage stuff, and you know when it comes to this, um, Thomas competitive hot dog eating, and and you have. Um, Norway's king in in you know Norway's king he was also he contracted um, corona on my birthday uh, October twenty second. Um, king Harald uh, became sick with uh, yeah he con contracted corona. Is it called like that? Yeah, on on, on um, October twenty second my birthday yeah it all you know i can say i can almost say whatever i want i can almost say whatever i want and that's how it is you know it's in a way it's it's a bit scary okay but that's how it is i, I, I can i can kind of say whatever i want and then then there will be um hot dog stuff you know for example it's absurd and and it becomes and you laugh, you laugh about it maybe, you laugh, okay? Your laughter becomes like a curse on, on it, 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 it uh, you know, it's almost like you're guilty when you're laughing, <laughs> you know? You're almost, you're almost making this happen if you're laughing about the hot dog stuff. And uh, you're giving it power if you laugh also, just so you know. Uh, and now, now the hot dog stuff is is really, um, you know, he's he is in Malaysia, and, and and the ketchup comes from Malaysia. You know, it's just perfect. You know, um, so and and the Dua Lipa look alike as a hot dog. You know, of course. Um, so that's how things are. Uh, just a little video. Um, I I wish you a good day. Okay. I have a bit aller allergy. I have a bit of allergy today, so I'm, I'm not in a, in the best mo mood today because I have allergy. Okay, today hustle hustle nut nuts. I have a bit um, hustle nut nut allergy from from the from that uh, so oh, okay okay let's end this recording and see you see you another time okay I mean I mean everything is basically connecting but um, but I'm, I'm, uh, what I talk about is still being ignored. You know, maybe the only way the only way to handle handle me and what I do is to ignore me. You know, there is no other way to 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 do anything about what I'm doing and and the things that I'm fi finding. And, and um, you know, the there is so much to talk about. Really, there is, but. Um, Um, well, I, I I don't think I um, I'm a bit in a bad bad mood because of of, of some some things, but <laughs> that's how it is sometimes. Um, well, see you guys. Maybe it, this evening if if something happens. Otherwise, bye bye.